thank the uh, Haiti Fresh Museum for having us here. We are at item two. Then any additional items or reviews? Councilor Sam. So you, you're saying that it goes now to homeschool kids and reaches further. 
That's correct, yeah. In addition to the uh, kindergarten to grade three, we do uh, the homeschool children, the uh, seventh day Adventist, and the King's Christian School, we all uh, target them as well. That's excellent. And I think it's important for, for every stable and everyone in the public to know that the city is able to provide such such great fire protection to the volunteers. I mean, reading through the papers last week with all the pictures of all the respective halls, it's uh, amazing how many people are involved in a really job of keeping on across as a city. Well, it saves taxpayers and a lot of money, so that's really commendable. I really appreciate it. Thank you. To be honest, the hat didn't strike me as being all that unusual. Same furniture, it's a counselor, it's a. Twice now. <laughs> I, make a comment about the I just wanted to comment that uh, uh, I think the, the fire is really good. Uh, I saw two new fire in my house this end and uh, some other ones. So then I can, can say it's great value that we get as a community. We really should be the people that volunteer. And size two, the kinds of businesses and employers, I know there's good support of our We have volunteer fire department employers that allow their employees to essentially duck out fire and not there for the presentation. Are you up to where you want to be, or are you still a little bit low? Um, we're a little bit this year of uh, canoe and blend. Um, you know, slightly smaller groups. It's you know members of that hall from that community area, and it's, it's getting harder to run those areas. Um, we do have some plans to you know target those areas more aggressively in the future. Um, so. Yeah, we're not where we want to be, but certainly uh, the public can provide a, you know, a good response if they're pretty so significantly improved, but could be better in the small, smaller areas. Yes. Okay. I just want to echo what uh, has already been said um, with regards to the success of our fire department and the volunteers that, that they have. And, um, hopefully, we can keep them in a lot of new blood to keep that enthusiasm and, and uh, that response time of six minutes. And, the loss down, and uh, it's, uh, I think you guys do a great job, and I don't think anybody really understands the financial impact of what you do compared to how you do it in a full time. Any further? Yeah, I had a question. Amen. Infrastructure study? What was that? Uh, for our dispatch center, it's because we've looked at the uh, oh. in that particular area, so that's something because it's uh, we can in hand with the regional this we're going to do that as a joint project. Good. Good work. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm Doug Adams presenting our Mini Pearson Museum. Well, thank you, Mayor and Council. We're very appreciative of you coming out for the meeting uh, today. It's always uh, great to host this, this meeting, and uh, we appreciate you coming from your uh, beautiful surroundings that happen to you the Municipal Hall and uh, coming, coming out here. But uh, uh, also, it is a reminder that the city of San Armas property, it's a 40 acre beautiful park, it's been willy, and it's because of a whole lot of uh, great staff, of, um, hundreds of volunteers that come out uh, on an annual basis to, to help us out. I would like to uh, just uh, introduce to you some of our key staff. We had up to 14 uh, employees out here, so we do have an impact on the com community with uh, uh, students, uh, workers, uh, uh, Katimovic, uh, those types of programs, also uh, a great youth program. So uh, that does help to, to put money in the pockets of uh, some of these uh, youth that are going back to school. Uh, first of all, I'd like to introduce Gary Cruikshank, who's the general manager. Uh, Gary. Uh, and Gary will be talking to you a little later about our uh, uh, entrance uh, project. Also, uh, Deborah Chapman is our curator. Uh, Deborah's been with us a number of years. Uh, new to our um, uh, society is new manager of visitor services and has done a, a great job in, in uh, attracting people into the park. Uh, Ted McTaggart, to uh, you all know, isn't is busy. Uh, uh, with his functions today. Uh, we'll have to talk to him about getting some of the squeaky doors <laughs> oil here because it, uh, it can be yeah, a little noisy, but 